Hey everybody, I just wanted to put out a quick video about the dome and yurt circular deck foundation plans that I put out. Um, I've had a lot of questions about them from previous builds that I've done, so I wanted to put something out there to help you guys through it because it's actually a far superior design, uh, in my view, to the traditional yurt platforms. Usually in those designs, you're trying to make a rectangular deck into a circle, which I've seen a lot of people struggle to do. And in this case, we're starting out with a circle. It makes cutting the components a lot easier. It makes laying out the post locations a lot easier, especially if you're a non-builder. You don't need to do batter boards. You don't need to have a ton of string lines and pull diagonals and everything. So. Um, I'm going to be building one of these uh, this coming spring and I'm going to do a full on video tutorial but I'm going to show you some pictures from a previous build and uh, kind of walk you through it until that video comes out so let's do it. So you'll see in the pictures from the previous build that the design is super close it's like 90% the same but I did do some adjustments on the center girders and I did some improvements in the design. Um, so basically when you're cutting the components, all these joists are the exact same length and there's no special angles on them. They're all just cut square. And as far as everything on top goes here, you just need 15 of each of them because it's a 15 sided shape. So the anatomy is you have joists, you have rim joists, you have the blocking, and then you have the girders. You have the big girders on the outside in the small set of girders on the inside. And that's what all the joists and rim and blocks sit on top of. And then you've got the posts underneath which support the girders. So the first part of the process is to basically just cut all your components. And because everything is concentric, meaning it all goes around the circle in a unified fashion, and it's also reciprocal, meaning that the joints lap each other basically the same way as you go around, you can just cut everything the exact same, just like it says on the paper, and that is going to create a perfect shape. And you can use that perfect shape to find the post locations really easily. So what you need to do is use the measurements I give you on the plans, measure across the Pentagon, make sure it's right, and then brace it so that it can't move, and you can set it on the ground and then you can set the triangle girders on the ground inside of it and use those measurements to basically get it in the close to the right location as close as you can and then you can go around on the ground and just mark at the corners with paint exactly where you want those posts to end up and then you just move the girders out of the way a little bit either dig your post holes or set your helical piles, which is what I'm gonna use for my next one. It's basically just a big metal screw that you screw into the ground that's rated for like 5,000 pounds each. Then you can put your posts on, use a laser or a string line to find level, you know, start at a point that you want. You might want it higher off the ground or lower, depending. And then you cut all those posts level, and then you can just set your girders back on, brace and strap it super easy it like could not be more simple it's so much easier than pulling out the batter boards and the string lines and diagonals and marking on string it's so much less of a headache and now you've got a level supported surface for your joist so then you just roll the joist and you set one so it's running over the corner of the pentagon fill in the rest so that they're just touching in the very center. It's real rough. And then as you put that rim together, it just makes it perfect. And then you can add the blocking. And even if the blocking is a little short or a little bit long in between, it can just slide up or down the bay. So it's like really not crucial. And once all the framing's in, you can insulate. So you can staple netting uh, on the inside of that. You could put little nailer strips so you can hold rigid foam. Um, there's a lot of ways that you could insulate inside there. You could even run plywood or something to keep animals from getting in there if you wanted to. And then depending on the floor system that you're using, if you're using tongue and groove, you basically don't need to do anything else. You can just throw the tongue and groove on. 
Um, as you can see in this picture, we ran blocking along the edges of all the plywood because we didn't have tongue and grooves. So in all those spaces, we wanted there to be something. But again, that's super easy. You just start putting it on and then snap a line and you kind of just fit the blocks in there so that the edges have something to nail to. But if you use uh, tongue and groove, you don't have to worry about that at all, which is what I would suggest. And to take care of all the plywood that's overlapping, I would suggest getting a router bit, flush cut router bit. If you don't have that, you can just mark it and cut it with a skill saw. Um, and if you're doing a yurt, then at this point you would take a compass from the center and scribe a circle just like a traditional yurt platform and uh, cut that circle. Or you can even hook your saw up to a large compass and just cut and scribe the compass at the same time basically. And at that point, you're ready to put the dome frame on. And if you're doing a yurt, then you can put the skirt board on for the yurt. And that's basically it. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I've got the plans up for the 15, 20, and 23 foot, three frequency domes and yurt. Um, and then uh, I'm going to put out some for the 23 foot and 30 foot four frequency domes which will just it'll basically be the same thing it's just going to be 20 sides probably instead of 15 and uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe because we got a lot of really cool projects coming down the line and uh yeah we're gonna make videos for them so cheers